My name is Jan Boerta and in this section we are going to look at administration of workgroups. Workgroup administration is a day-to-day -day function that is performed by the interaction administrators. I'm going to use a functional workgroup as an example here. I'm opening up the workgroup by simply double-clicking on it. For the majority of time, adding users and removing users is part of administration. So I can simply select the user, as you can see here on the right-hand side, and remove them. If I want to select multiple users, I can use either the control key to multi-select, or I can indeed use the shift function to select a block of users. Adding users, just as easy, select a user that is in the available list on the left-hand side, or multiple users, and simply click to add them into the workgroup. One of the other main functions within the day-to-day -day administration of workgroups is adding and removing supervisors to these workgroups. To add a supervisor, simply click the Add button in the Supervisor tab, select the supervisor you want to add. I'm going to select Adam Joel in this case, and simply click on OK. Same way, if you want to remove any supervisors, you can simply highlight the supervisor and select the Delete option. This only removes that user from the workgroup as a supervisor. It does not affect their personal configuration. Once assigned to these workgroups, if the users have the right, they will have the capability of making themselves available or unavailable within these workgroups. Please take note that the users will not have the capability of actually removing or adding themselves within the workgroup, only the capability of making themselves available within that workgroup. In this section, we looked at the administration of workgroups. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.